hey guys in today's video i am gonna show you how to do professional color correction in affinity photo so as an example we are going to take this image and turn it into this image okay so without wasting any time let's get started what's going on guys it's vineet from affinity uprising welcome to another video so before starting actual editing if you are here for very first time make sure to hit that subscribe button and press notification bell next to it so you don't miss anything so in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to do color correction in affinity photo okay so we are going to use this sample image and if you would like to work along with me make sure to download this image from the link given in the description so when you complete with your download open this image in the affinity photo and i already opened this image so very the very first thing we are going to do is to duplicate this layer two times so you can do that by pressing command or control j and that's it so i will name this layer as after to see before and after changes and this layer as layer 0 or whatever the layer name you would like so you can turn off this layer as of now so what we are going to do with this after layer first we will make a mask of this model and uh, for that we have to select this model first uh, so we can do this by pressing w on your keyboard or you can also go over here and select the selection brush tool now if you want to increase the brush width you or, or decrease the brush width you can press so uh, opening or closing square bracket okay so i want to increase it so i press closing square bracket and now select the model over here if you want to subtract the selection and don't want to go over here you can do it by pressing alter and paint it the area that you want to subtract okay now, now when you are done with the selection you have to refine it so we can do it by go it over here refine so refine selection is very useful when you have a sharp edges so as you can see here is very sharp edges when it there is a hair of fur so i will reduce the brush size first and then paint it over near to her hair to refine it okay so let me done with that so as you can see affinity did a very amazing job except here okay when you done with that you have to get a output so you can get output in the selection mask new layer or new layer with mask so in our case we are we are gonna choose the mask because we want to mask this model and hit apply now you when you hit apply our selection has been gone but we want that selection now okay so what how we can bring that selection back so we can bring that selection by selecting this layer and then click on this mask with the pressing control on our keyboard okay so make sure to press control on your keyboard and then click on this little square icon okay so when i click over here you can see our selection comes again so after that uh, you can go to select and then grow or shrink so in our case we are going to grow up maybe 10 to 12 pixel okay and then hit apply so when you are done with that uh, now we are going to in paint this model okay so we can go to edit or in fill we can also choose in paint or we can simply click on this in paint option so we 
choose the this option and let's see how often it does his work okay so we have to wait some time based uh, because my computer is little bit slow okay so when you done with the in painting you can see there is a no difference in the layer but if you turn off this after layer you can see there is a difference okay so now what we are gonna do is deselect this model first and remove some hair in the layer as you can see there is some hair in the layer and we don't want that so we can remove it by using the in painting brush tool and we can find it over here in the heading brush tool dialog now adjust the brush size and paint it over the her hair okay now again wait for the in painting brush tool to deed his magic So in painting brush tool did a very amazing job this time again and here is some shadow of the model okay so we want also to remove and we select that so after done with the in painting brush tool what you are gonna do is turn on this layer after again and uh, let me select the pan option and after that we want to change the background to look cinematic so we are gonna do blur so we will choose the maximum blur here so first of all uh, when you select the radius in this case you will get a square back square little dot as you can see there is a square square but we want circular so we select the circular uh, along with the preserve alpha okay now you increase radius you don't have get the square dot you will get a circular dot okay so we will increase up to 100 percent in our case but what when you want to increase your maximum blur more than 100 pixel okay so you can go over on the image and as you can see there is a lit very little light icon when you drag over uh, over the image you can see blur is increasing okay so and as you can see here the radius is also increased but in our case we want only 100 pixel radius so we will select that and hit apply and then close this dialog box okay after that we are going to select this layer again and go to here live filter and then choose lens blur okay so in lens blur there is some option that we are going to use as of now so first of all we increase the radius little bit and then increase the bloom factor which is very important to show the rounded dot in the background and then decrease the bloom threshold little bit okay so as you can see we don't want to increase too much Okay, then increase the blur if you increase the blur blade curvature there is nothing happens so we don't want to do that as of now you can increase the number of blade and radius let me decrease the blur bloom threshold okay i think 74 is good and bloom factor okay so bloom factor is 969 is fine and then close this live lens blur dialog box now we are going to use the develop persona mode so select this layer and hit on the develop persona mode icon so after that our develop persona mode will open so let wait for that and as you can see develop persona mode will, uh, is open so the very first thing we are going to increase the exposure and very little 0.1 is enough okay and after that we will increase the clarity okay so we don't want to create it too much 
okay i think it's look good let me decrease a little bit more because we don't want too much dots in the background okay and increase the contrast little bit i think that's fine after that we are going to decrease this shadow okay to look it more natural then we go to tones and select the black and white okay so in black and white we are going to change green level and yellow level because there is some green and yellow in the image so we will decrease the green because there is a lots of it in the background and we are also gonna reduce the yellow level okay okay so i think that's too much and let's set to or around uh, maybe i think that's fine okay so after that hit on the develop when you done with the develop mode you have to do two things in the photo persona mode so first of all select this layer 0 and then go to here on adjustment and then click on recolor as you can see when you see this recolor you will you will be horrified okay so first of all we are going to reduce the saturation and in our case we will select u as a blue we will also reduce the lightness of our model okay so i think it's look great and then select whatever the option you you like fine and then click on the this recolor dialog box so after that uh, we want a little lens okay so how can we do that so first of all we are going to add a pixel layer here and then click on brush or you can also press b on your keyboard so i press b and as you can see our paint brush tool has been selected so what you can do is select the uh, light brush over here okay and reduce the flow around 80 and make sure hardness level is set to 0 and just simply just click or click one time and as you can see there is very little flash now we want to increase this uh, lens size so what we can do is see, uh, select our selection tool and increase its size okay and we want to set it in the right above corner okay as you can see our image is look awesome we can also achieve this by using lightning in the affinity photo so let me show it to you you can choose whatever option that you like so go over here on live filter and then uh, click on this lighting so let me zoom out a little bit and then okay increase this now this so uh, little a uh, little round icon is used increase or decrease the brightness of our lightning of our model so we want our lightning in our model only so let me change its position and i think it's look great now we are going to close this live dialog box and i think it's look great much than the to brush tool okay so which is here and i think that's all for today's tutorial let me know how you like about this in the comment section and if you would love or want to learn something specific in the affinity photo please let me know in the comment section i would love to help you out also man uh, please give some feedback uh, about this tutorial that how can i improve that in the comment because uh, i am very new in the youtube and i would love to hear your suggestion so that's all for today's tutorial but before going to that let's see the before and after of our image so what we are going to do is select all this and group it over by pressing command or control g okay and uh, bring this layer upward 
okay now our layer upper so this is a before image and this is an after image so when let me show you what so how it look when we select lightning or when we select the brush tool and make a lens okay so let me select my previous image so I select my previous edited image or uh, let it open so I think affinity photo open that same image because I don't make a new image uh, uh, when I start editing I uh, started editing in the same image that I show you earlier so I think it's look look much more better than the original uh, lab brush image so lens br brush image so that's all for today's tutorial guys uh, let me know how you like I will meet you soon till then stay fit and stay editing